Welcome. Welcome to Dragon Army. I'm gonna assume Druid is either Taunt or Spiteful, against which I don't... Uh, actually, against which I probably just lose. <laughs> None of those are particularly powerful, so... Witch's Cauldron in this deck. You don't really have much in the way of small guys, I don't think. Mm. So Tar Creeper can be Taunt or Spiteful still. Mark of Nature. It's kind of interesting. It's potentially a good one to, to recast with Tess, too. Alright, so, not Spiteful, so he's probably Taunt. Um, I can actually just Mark of Nature this, backstab this, and then bump. Ooh, I'll take a Splinter Graft. This is really good with Tess, right? <laughs> Recast it? Alright. I don't think this guy's worth vile spining. What you got? Whoa! Oh god! That's the best possible thing we could have gotten. Holy. We can just ramp to 10 next turn. We just play Twig Dagger, and then we just have 10 mana. Sure. Unfortunately, Splinter Graph doesn't really work with Druid of the Swarm, right? I guess we actually kind of want to... We can bump here, Twig. We can Splinter Graph the Blink Fox, and then just play this. Alright. We'll make a 10-10 Fox. Poisonous Spooter. I'll just say go. Oh, naturalize. Gonna overdraw a card. Oh, I overdrew my Lich King. That's a bummer. Man. We could fan... Vile Spine Coin Creeper. I mean, because we also just have 10 mana, so we can just start pickpocketing a ton if we want to. I don't think Coin Vile Vile attack. I want to save the other Vile Spine. I mean, I have Shadow Step, but... I think this is better. This guy can't even attack right now. He needs to get, get armor. Mm hmm. Um, I can just cheap shot his board down. Uh, we got a donation from Mr. Fizz, says here's a Spectral Cutlass deck I've been playing with a 65% winner at rank 10. I think you want Cheap Shot. It's also possible that I want Sav. There's Tess. Oh, Tess will cast Splintergeist on Tess if I attack this here first. And we'll also cast, oh my god, this is insane. It'll cast the Twig, which will give me another 10 mana. That's fine. Oh wait, it's a battle cry, never mind. But I still get to do this. 
which gives me another 10 mana. And then I can Vile Spine this if I want. Wait, we can just Shadow Step the test and just keep getting mana and keep making guys. Hmm. All right. So it gives us an 8, 8, a 1, 2, and 10 mana again with the, with the, uh, <laughs> with the twig. <laughs> oh my god. Next turn I can bite, then play test, which adds the bite to the pool of test cards. But then I can't dagger if I do bite first. So maybe I, I don't necessarily want to play test next turn. We have pickpockets too, so we can actually add to the test pool with a pickpocket potentially. And we want to get things that are like minions, or like necessarily good for me, not, not random. I was briefly thinking that this was going to be not a battle cry, this is just like, you know, going to give me the effect, but obviously it doesn't do that. The double armoring to Spellstone. Okay. There's a hallucination. Okay, this is a good one to test, and then have infinite mana for. Oh my god, we'll take it. Do I play it? I think we're vile spining this turn. I think maybe I take the keeper, honestly, because it gives me a silence in case he like hadronoxes or something. Yeah, I'm taking keeper. Like, this can just let me bust through a silence. Like, I can still test, and we're gonna get another Splinter Graft, another Twig, and then be able to, and Bite. Like, if he has, like, one big taunt, we just, we just you know, silence and kill him. Yeah, test doesn't copy the battle cries. We didn't get to get a 10-10 a test with our Splinter Graft or anything. And this won't silence anything the second time, but I just feel like I want this effect, period. Infestation, the Splinter Graft, okay. It's gonna burn several cards from him. Well, we can attack him for 13. Tess will give us another 8 8, and will give us a bite so we can just punch this. Do we just wanna pickpocket first? Because then we're gonna get. Tess will give us the twig, and then we're gonna use our hero power. Yeah, we'll pickpocket. We'll play Tess. So we bite. We mark of nature, hopefully not his guy. Okay, ooh, seven. So we have 17 uh, plus five. All right. All right, do you actually just have lethal there if I went face? No, I don't think so. Oh, actually, I was very, very close. I was too off if I went face. But yeah, I could have pickpocketed again. So I did miss that. Rip. And we're out of Tesses, which is unfortunate. I need to add another Shadow Step to this deck. <laughs> this game has been nonsense. <laughs> Twig Tess is just silly. <laughs> it's like Tess of the World Tree right here. That's not a Hadronox. Uh-huh. Still have way more than you can deal with. <laughs> oh my god, that was outrageous! Test Twig is just not fair. 